I reflect on things and my decision. Um, I've always been the kind of girl that hid my face So afraid to tell the world what I've got to say But I have this dream right inside of me I'm gonna let it show It's time to let you know And to let you know This is real, this is me I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now Gonna let the light shine on me Now I found who I am There's no way to hold it in Okay, so we're in Colorado Springs and we decided while we're waiting for our hotel to go to the Ghost Town Wild West Museum. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside here. Wow. They look sick. With dimes and quarters. See you guys. Oh my goodness, everybody stay there. That with your with the brown sand, and then you swirl it so that the brown sand kind of kicks out until all that's Looks left is the, is the really dark, dark sand, the, like more black color. Keeps pushing it under the water, and then get all that I guess the because gold the gold is heavier than the water and all the sand. So if you get down to that really dark sand, then you look and you try to find some gold. Okay, and here we found some right here. Don't touch it. Okay, so here is the fool's gold. It's kind of a silver tinge. I don't know if you can see it. See, so fool's gold here, and then we have the regular gold, which is a lot more yellow and bright. We have arrived at the Garden of the Gods. left our hotel in Colorado Springs probably maybe two hours ago and we are at the very tip of the end of Colorado before we get into New Mexico. So we just crossed into New Mexico. So this is New Mexico. 
We stopped to take a bathroom break on the side of the road. But there are like no cars. So we stopped in the small town of Las Vegas, New Mexico. And it was so cool. We uh, went to this gas station and it was actually full service. The guy who owned it came out, scrubbed my windshield, which needed it from all the bug splatter, and um, cleaned up my car and filled up my tank. We got some candy from him and some water, but he also threw in some free suckers. Um, just a really nice guy who's been here forever. I guess his family and his grandparents had a ranch further out. So now we decided to kind of drive around this town. It's an hour north of Santa Fe and two hours north of Albuquerque. Smile. There you go. Old Town Plaza entrance. This is Albuquerque. George. Uh, Spanish style. Come here, Bill. Yeah, it smells like smoke. Let's go get some food somewhere. Come here. So we have come to this restaurant called La Pasita and it is in Old Town Albuquerque. It's over 300 years old. The house itself it used to be a house and this used to be the outdoor courtyard where this tree was and this tree is over 200 years old so it's younger than this house but it's been here for years. Cool. Maybe we can look this way. So we just got to our Airbnb in Albuquerque. We're gonna go in and see. Come on, Bella. Okay, and this is it. You want me to come, Bella? We are in our last Airbnb here in Albuquerque. And tomorrow is the big day that we officially move to Phoenix. It has been a long journey, guys. It's been full of fun. We made the most of it. I wanted to make memories that we would never forget. Uh, we'll call it our Southwest road trip. I reflect on things and my decision nervous. I'm scared. I told the kids this morning that um, just like I said before, change doesn't happen with you being comfortable so it's normal and it's okay to be scared. It's okay to talk about it. Um, I just want to be successful where I am. I want to make it home and I want to uh, be independent and stable so I've accomplished that wherever else I've been. I don't foresee this being any different, but I have a lot of stress on me right now. 
just, you know, beginnings of settling in. So we'll see. right now headed um, southwest to Phoenix and we thought we'd stop and take a picture okay hello so we are in Arizona finally and we have stopped now at a gas station we have about three and a half hours left till we pick up our keys It's so sunny inside and it's right up against the mountain ranges all the way around the neighborhood. Um, it's so quiet here. I love it. I feel really so fortunate to be here. I've worked so hard. This is our first sandstorm. this video don't forget to like and share and for more video content like this subscribe bye